Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Terra Luna. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, if you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to check that out before watching this one. It's going to be in the top right hand corner of the video. Also, if you do want more frequent Luna updates, make sure to check out uh, our Patreon, the Hazik Crypto Club. We do post uh, more frequent Terra Luna updates in there. So feel free to check that out. The links are in the description. Now, jumping into the daily chart, we do have a Fibonacci retracement set up over here. This is the Binance chart. We usually start with the trading view chart, but I figured we'd switch around for this time. So we do have a swing high over here during the October peak, and we do have a swing low during September 21st low that we had for Luna. Now, as you can see, we did run into the 1.272 over here which was at $60.61. I did give you this resistance level many days ago. I think the last update that we had on Terra Luna was sometime at the end of January. Also, we did run into the 20 daily EMA, which is the yellow line over here, and the red line is the 55 EMA. So we ran into the 1.272. We ran into the 20 daily EMA. We ran into the white trend line of this, uh, which was a previous support, as you can see over here. We ran into that as resistance. So uh, we had three important resistance levels above us. We also broke through the yellow uh, support trend line, which was a resistance at this point because we, we lost it as support over here during the end of January pullback. So we got above the yellow resistance, got rejected from the 20, from the white trend line, from the 1.272, had a pullback back down to the previous swing high over here at 49. 0.66 cents which was it was a support level i did give you many many weeks ago as well so if you got in at this level congratulations from here you're up almost nine percent and from here you were up around about 22 21 and a half percent uh from this support level the last time you had a bounce before the next leg up now luna is one of those assets that is going to be growing at an exponential exponential rate because of the uh, of the UST stablecoin that they have going on. I am planning to release a video explaining how the Terra ecosystem works and how does the uh, UST uh, work with the Luna and why does the Luna price increase with the demand rising for the UST stablecoin. So if you want that video out, let me know down below in the comment section. But right now, what we can expect happening is we may potentially run into the 20 daily EMA once again and come back down to the first fib level. So I wouldn't necessarily try to swing trade this right now. I would only try to get in at Luna at $50 for Luna. Always get in slightly above the support levels, have the buy orders slightly above because if you have at the exact level over here, lots of people are going to have this exact fib level and they're going to put the buy orders at the exact same price. So you may not get filled and people who had the buy orders slightly above will get filled before you. The price will reverse, causing you to buy even higher, thus pushing the price even higher. So we did get to our Fibonacci retracement here at the second Fib level uh, at $103, which was a great take profit zone. I did give you this target many, many, many moons ago, I think. And we did print a head and shoulders pattern. We did uh, get to our technical target of that head and shoulders pattern. So technical target met. Now we are starting this nice uptrend on the daily chart. As you can see, a uptrend is basically when you're printing higher lows and higher highs. So what we're looking to do right now is print a higher low, because if we do something like this and get rejected, you're printing a double top, double M top pattern and you will have a target to the downside somewhere to the 786 over here. And that is not something that we want to see. So what we want to see is a break of this swing high. Now, let me just set a quick Fib retracement over here to see is how possible will that be? And what are the levels? Well, obviously it is possible. I don't know why I said it that way. But you can see that the 20 EMA right now is where the golden ratio is, where the 0.618 Fibonacci level is. And that is the golden ratio. That is the most important Fib level. Now, if you see this level broke, broken and it back tested as support, you are looking at a retracement to $60 and 
uh, $60.80. So that's something that you can eyeball. After you break the first Fib level back test that has support, you're looking at $69.08. But we need to break the golden ratio for all of that to happen. If we get rejected from here, you're pretty much potentially going to set a nice either double bottom pattern or you are going to set a lower low and that will invalidate the uptrend that we're starting over here. But this does look like a very nice uptrend is starting to come into fruition, guys. But like I said, we need to break through the uh, golden ratio for that to happen. Now, let's get rid of actually I'm going to leave the fib. For now and let's jump into the oscillators on the daily chart so on the daily chart as you can see we do have this white resistance trend line very important resistance to break we did have a little fake out over here during the december pump but as you can see here december 4th rejection a january 1st rejection a january 16th rejection february 7th rejection and we are potentially looking for another rejection over here so we may run into this level and get sent back down. Or the bullish scenario would be is that we broke through, back test this as support and continue on to uh, our higher highs. Now, if that does happen, I would look for entries. If you, for example, if you cannot enter right now, then if you see a breakout over here, I would wait until we see a pullback and a back test of this trend line as support. That's when I would enter regardless of the price Really, this would be a great entry based on the RSI. So that's something to keep an eye on. Obviously, if you start getting overextended to the uh, overbought zone above the index of 70, that's a great sign to take some profits, just like you were over here December 4th and just like you were over here at the end of December. Taking a look at the stochastic RSI, we were overbought here, which was a great and a great exit, in my opinion, based on the stochastic. But the stochastic is more of a squeezed uh, or a more of a short term, you know, vol uh, volatility, uh, momentum based oscillator. So you can actually uh, use the RSI for more long term trades and the stochastic for more short term trades, because right now, as you can see, we are seeing a trend reversal and we are potentially going to get back into the overbought zone over here above the index of 70. And that may uh, cause us to have that double top pattern right we may have that double top pattern if uh, the uh, luna token does get rejected from this level that i that i showed you from the 1.272 we get the double uh the double uh, top pattern and we have a target to the downside if we start losing this swing low at 50 dollars that hasn't happened yet but that's one of the potential scenarios that we have here now one bullish thing on the macd that we have is a bullish cross below the histogram so the last time we did have a bullish cross below the histogram was back June 1st. And as you can see, the appreciation that we had with that bullish cross. So potentially right now, we're looking at a similar scenario. We're looking at a nice appreciation uh, for Luna over here. So let's see what happens. Let's see what the space does. And I do want to check out the um, I do want to check out the Luna on trading view. So let's jump over there real quick and see what we have going on so now here we do have a bit of a different Fibonacci retracement this one is more long term so if I just zoom out a little bit we have our swing high March 19th and we have our swing low May 22nd over here May 24th and this gives us the 1.618 target here at around about $66 and the 1.272 at $128.5. So this would be a nice resistance level for me uh, to take some profits on Terra Luna, especially the early investors, uh, you know, $128. And if you bought in back here, this was a great, great entry. And uh, if you bought back there, this would be a great, great exit for in my opinion but overall what we've done with this pullback based on this fibonacci is we simply had a retracement back to the 1.414 because we never really back tested that as support as you can see this was the point of breakout you broke out and now you came back for a back test of support and now you're looking to break through the 1.618 we almost got to the one uh, to the second fib level with this move over here but we didn't manage to get there obviously and we are potentially going to do that in the next leg up after that we do have the 2.272 at 206 dollars so that can be our next uh, major target for terra luna and i do think we may get overextended to the 2.414 as well at 264 dollars for a luna token 
and you know that's what i'd be looking at maximum by this by the end of this bull market obviously we can go even higher but at that point it would be very much uh over uh, bought in my opinion but we'll see when we get there you know it's uh really just price predictions at this point but if i did miss out anything on the charts please let me know down below in the comment section guys feel free to join our telegram chat and our discord server we have great communities over there if you have any questions or you need help with anything crypto related feel free to join and ask away you will get help immediately also we do have a patreon feel free to follow me on patreon uh, we do have low cap jump calls in there we do have buy and sell alerts project highlights market sentiment analysis and uh, technical analysis and video requests as well so it's a great way to uh, get more exclusive content and get more you know personal one-on-one -on -one connection you could say but i do talk to all of my patrons as well so we are uh, you know getting to know each other and we do have uh, chats in the discord server where we do have a uh, a voice chat for patrons only where we do discuss different things and get in there and it was kind of fun when we, when we did that the first time so we're gonna do that uh, definitely gonna do that again so yeah feel free to join all of those links are gonna be in the description i'm gonna catch you in the next one goodbye and good night